back now at 11 a.m. here in New York, 4 p.m. in London. That is where we are following some major medical news involving the British royal family. We have learned King Charles is having a procedure next week to treat an enlarged prostate. This comes right after we learned that Kate Middleton will be in the hospital for up to two weeks after going her planned abdominal surgery. CBS News foreign correspondent MTS Tayeb is following all the developments for us uh, from London. MTS, last time we spoke not too long ago, we had just learned the news about Kate. Uh, so a lot of news coming back to back. What more do we know about King Charles and his procedure? Hey guys, good to be with you. Yeah, um, uh, yet another statement uh, from the palace, uh, this time from Buckingham Palace, in which we have a statement uh, from him, which reads, and I will read it out to you, uh, in Common with thousands of men each year, the king has sought treatment for a, quote, enlarged prostate. Uh, His Majesty's condition is benign, and I think we want to stress the word here, benign, uh, and he will attend hospital next week for a corrective procedure. The king's public engagements will be postponed for a short period of recuperation. Now, that is the statement. Uh, It's a very brief one, just saying that he has a benign uh, uh, enlarged prostate and that he is going to hospital next week for a procedure. Um, But in saying that, Uh, On background, we've been told that anticipation of the questions that many people have about why this announcement has been made today, uh, we've been told that His Majesty has a series of meeting and events planned at Dempfrey's house tomorrow and Friday, which are now being postponed. Mm -hmm. Because of this doctor's advice, um, the guests include foreign dignitaries and so on and so forth, members of cabinet. Uh, So that travel will obviously need to be canceled. This is what we're hearing on background as to why the King's announcement is being made today. Uh, Again, I just want to reiterate the statement that we've received from the palace in that the King is going to be treated for a, quote, benign uh, uh, procedure, uh, condition rather, uh, because of an enlarged prostate. Um, what do we know generally about it, his health? I mean, for a 75 year old guy, he seems to be doing all right. Yeah, I, the king has, from what we can see, anyways, fairly robust health. Um, but again, uh, it really just underscores what we've been hearing uh, from Palace insiders is that the king has been wanted to make this uh, a public statement, if you will, given the fact that many men here in the UK, particularly Mm. around his age, uh, do suffer from enlarged prostates. Mm. Again, it's often a benign uh, condition, uh, which can often be treated with medication. The fact that he is going to be uh, admitted to hospital for what's been described as a procedure perhaps suggests that he will be having some sort of surgical intervention, which can sometimes be the case uh, with those who do have an enlarged prostate, a very routine procedure, it must be said. Uh, But again, uh, we have this public statement from the king about his health, uh, and uh, we will be discussing uh, Princess Catherine as well and her uh, health uh, at this moment as well. And that is, uh, I think, an interesting thing to sort of ponder here, which is the fact that uh, we have a new royal family, or at least leadership under the king, who seems to be much more transparent about health in the way that we may not have heard in the past. Mm. Guys. That is an interesting point. And it is noteworthy, I think, that both of these announcements really came, it seems, moments uh, apart. Uh, You mentioned the Princess of Wales. Can you tell us a little bit about what that statement from Kensington Palace touched upon? Yeah, so the Princess Princess of Wales, rather, is in the hospital currently after undergoing successful abdominal surgery uh, and will not be resuming public duties until after Easter. That is from Kensington Palace. Kate, who is 42 years old, was admitted to the London Clinic yesterday for the planned procedure. Now, the future queen is expected to remain in hospital for 10 to 14 days before returning home to continue her recovery. Uh, And in the statement, she says she wishes to apologize for any upcoming engagement that she has had to postpone. Now, the palace uh, refused to confirm what Kate was being treated for, but confirmed the condition, rather, was non cancerous. And then you talked to us a little bit about what King Charles has coming up. What about um, the princess? Uh, Does she have other events coming up that uh, will have to be kind of postponed as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Well, it's understood that uh, not only will she no longer be uh, attending these planned events, Prince William won't be either. Uh, Mm -hmm. He will be curtailing all public engagements while his wife is in hospital and immediately after she returns home after being discharged, as well as scaling back duties afterwards as he supports Kate and their children. Now, it's not expected that the couple will embark on any international travel in the coming months. Uh, That means uh, they will miss the events such as the BAFTA Awards, which she and William usually attended. 
and the Royal Family's annual Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, which is set to take place on the 11th of March. It will also throw the couple's reported trip to Italy in the spring into doubt, too. Uh, Kate, as we know, is very close to her family, her parents, Carol and Michael Milton, mm -hmm. siblings Pippa, her brother James. Uh, they were all set to rally around her and support her recovery at the Wales's home in Windsor. Guys. All right, MTS, thank you so much. Pleasure. Hopefully we won't have to bring you back for anything else. That's it. <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully that's it. All right.